Today I wanted to chat about some discrimination that's going on. It's very common and uh, I've kind of I've done it a little bit myself and I, I don't know if it's right or wrong. I think it might be wrong uh, the more I think about it. And this discrimination is when we give more privileges or we give something to someone based on their socioeconomic background. We discriminate against people who have either made themselves successful or whose families have been successful. And examples of this are uh, college scholarships that are only given to poor people, people whose parents uh, have uh, chosen lifestyles or circumstances or just happened to bad luck and have not been able to uh, develop some, you know, enough money to send that kid to college. Uh, I saw a woman speaking at a, a wonderful conference I went to, a convention, and she was from uh, an organization called Give Work. And the idea was that in order to get a job with her company in Africa, you had to be poor. You had to be below a certain threshold. You couldn't have educated yourself. You, if you showed any oomph, if you had really made it uh, in life uh, and had, you know, been lucky also and reaped some benefits, you were not eligible for that program. And it's, of course, her, her choice. It's her company. Uh, but looking at it as something that I would want to do, I would think that the person who had somehow gone through the trouble to educate themselves, learn about the, the thing, and then happened to be at the right place at the right time and got lucky in a very unfortunate place, you, know, you, you defy all odds and you make it, uh, that person, it, it seems unfair, I know life's unfair, but it seems unfair that that person should not be eligible for a job or some opportunity. And I don't know where I come down on that. I don't know what you think about it, but I've thought about it also in mentoring. I would be interested in mentoring a young man in business, uh, some teenager that showed great potential that wanted to work hard and really make it and wanted ideas on how to market and, and just kind of the things that I've messed up on enough over the years that I've learned a little bit. I would love to be a mentor for a kid like this. And then I think about how I might find uh, this, this perfect kid and, and what the standards would be. Would I select a young man that uh, came from a family who were gazillionaires? Dad was really successful, so was mom uh, in the business world, so were grandma and grandpa. For generations they'd done well. This kid could never do a thing in, the, in his life and would still be a gazillionaire uh, as will all of his kids and, and, and grandkids. Should I exclude that kid with potential if they wanted to hear from me? Now, of course, there's no really no reason that that uh, kid would want to hear from me. I'm small time and he'd have his family. But you get what I'm saying. Should I then say, well, you have to have come from, by accident of birth, a family that your mother and father did not stay together. You have to now live with your mother. You have to... Uh, she can't have been successful in business or investing or, or whatever. She has to be poor and you have to have no other possibilities in life or, or fewer than most people. Should I put all those standards on and discriminate against the people that might want this help just as much? I don't know. It's an interesting thing to think about. I don't know what the correct answer is.